I got shocked this morning now. I see this video. I say sure. Ha -ha. So this video day before. <laughs> Buariafa. <laughs> they say you don't do this thing before for 2008 now. When you file against uh, uh, the then president. Say no win 25%. <laughs> and the interpreter, Supreme Court interpreter now. Say person must win 25%. So if you don't do one before, wait till Call different for this one, bros. <laughs> Don't be me talk about now. The former attorney general of the federation with the Supreme Court matter. And I talk, he say you don't do one before for 2008. And the Supreme Court say yes, that is day you must win 25 percent. So I don't understand why this uh, Peter will be call different. You don't understand. So, Baba, Baba T, Tinibu. <laughs> We like that the red room. Abu Abu Aliki. O simi leke buke. O be there to yao. Mona make a go viral. Buari don't do one before. So I don't know why this will go different. It's Supreme Court. We do it. Now, there were fears of a constitutional crisis as the 2023 presidential election results began trickling in with some analysts saying the winner must win 25% of valid votes in at least 24 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. In fact, some thought, you know, winning 25% of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory would be the deciding factor in who wins the election. Well, the president elect clearly did not get 25% of the votes in the FCT. So is this a good enough ground to question the validity of the results? Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's a very difficult situation, but I think the matter has been interpreted before around 2008 in a matter involving the current president, Buhari, when he filed an action. The issue of whether that uh, and in between, that is, must have uh, 25% in two states and the federal capital territory. I think the pronouncement then was that the and is conjunctively. That was the interpretation then. But you know it's about 14 years ago. Uh, it's enough time maybe the Supreme Court may have another look on it. But as of now, that is the interpretation the Supreme Court gave. In 2008. I don't want to go into details because the matter is now subsidized. About some states have already filed an action to challenge the legality of the election. So I am confining myself to what was the interpretation of the Supreme Court in between in Buhari's case in 2008. Okay, just the interpretation simply was that. Sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to get to some clarification, which I'm sure is what you're saying right now. So please proceed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I cannot go deep into the matter because already actions have been filed at the Supreme Court. And I'm just giving you an instance where there was an interpretation by the Supreme Court of that provision or a similar provision. The interpretation was that that and federal capital should be construed conjunctively. In other words, it means you must get the 24, the two days, the 25 percent in two days, and also you must get 25 percent in the federal capital territory. If you go by the interpretation of the Supreme Court in 2008. But I say, look, the Supreme Court have a right to depart from its previous decisions. If the justice of the case demands so. So I don't know if they are confronted with similar impartation, they will follow their own previous decision or they might depart from their previous decisions. That's why I gave you that answer. But I will not go further because the matter is before the Supreme Court. And six states have already gone to court to have the election voided. Now, of course, the 
two political parties, PDP and Labour Party also have commenced legal actions at the presidential tribunal, which is the Court of Appeal. So it will not be proper for me to go deep into the matter. And that is why I didn't even cite the citation, but it's a case I'm very sure was decided in 2008. It involved the current president, and a clear interpretation was given on that. All right, fair enough. Thank you. Fair enough. Uh, thank you for... Uh